What's going on everyone? James Grage here at Drive 495 in New York, shooting with Muscle and Fitness, and today we're talking about some biceps tips. Now, I use resistance bands, so we're gonna be using some resistance bands here, but I also am gonna show you how to do this with free weights and what the equivalent with bands is, so let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start with a preacher curl, or at least simulate a preacher curl, just using a dumbbell here. Now, as you can see my body position, my elbow is out in front of me, and this is the critical part. So this is called flexion at the shoulder, meaning we're bringing our arm in front of our midline. So by doing this, what we're doing is we're putting the outside head of the biceps in a biomechanically weak position. And by doing that, we're making the inside head or the shorter head of the biceps work a little bit harder. So that's what we're doing when we're doing a preacher curl, squeezing up to the top, is working that short head. Now you're gonna work both heads of the biceps at the same time. There is no such thing as true isolation, but this does allow us to target that inside head a little bit more. Now, to do the opposite, if we wanna target the outside head of the biceps, now a lot of people wanna do that, hoping to get a little more peak on the outside of the biceps, we're gonna do the exact opposite. Grab our dumbbells, and we're gonna drop our elbow behind our body. So this is called shoulder extension. Now when we do this, we're creating more tension on the outside head of the biceps. We're stretching it slightly and this allows us to get a better contraction. So by doing this and curling up to the top, make sure you curl those pinkies up, get that little twist, which if I were to do that without weights, let's see if I stuck my arm right out in front of me. Now if I were to curl, look at the difference just turning my wrist, and that's what you want to do. You want to get that little bit of a turn, turn that pinky up to get that peak contraction there. Now here's what's kind of cool about resistance bands, one of the things that I like, and there's a lot of things that I like about bands over free weights, but one of them is that we have resistance in multiple planes. We're no longer relying on gravity, and we have resistance in any plane we want. So we're gonna duplicate these same things without having to use a bench. So let's duplicate the first one. So the first one was our preacher curl. Now I'm gonna step back and create tension. And this is one of the keys to training with resistance bands, and this is where a lot of people go wrong, is they don't have enough tension at the beginning of the range of motion. So I can pre-stretch that band by stepping further back, or I can do it by reaching further forward toward my anchor point. So that's step one. Make sure you get tension at the beginning of the range of motion. You can see my elbows are out in front of me, just like they were on the preacher. Make sure that you have a good, solid base one foot forward, one foot back. Contract those abs. And curl up. <clears throat> Focus on keeping that elbow in one fixed spot. That's your pivot point there. Turn those pinkies. Get that peak contraction. So that is the equivalent of doing a preacher curl. So to do the opposite, pretty easy. We just turn around. Now that elbow is behind us just like it was when we laid on the bench. Same thing, you wanna keep that elbow in one fixed position, get a nice stable base, contract those abs, and curl. Just like that. So there is the resistance band equivalent of doing the same movement in the gym. I don't need a gym, I don't need a bench, I don't need dumbbells, all I need is a resistance band and a place to anchor it. But you can also use a door anchor, you can shut it inside a door and you loop it through there. So any doorway now turns into your gym. If you wanna follow me, you can follow me on Instagram at James underscore Grage, G-R-A-G-E. You can also find me on YouTube with other free tips. And that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time.